Hi there, James here. Um, yeah, I've done a video in a while. Um, it's, well, it's been a massive roller coaster, really. Um, I haven't done a video, I think, since my Reiki 1, I believe. Um, and I was told, obviously, different things. Um, the 21 days after you get attuned, uh, you have a bit of a clean out yourself, so emotionally, physically, spiritually. Um, I believe that you raise your own vibration that time. You, you, um, um, yeah, lots of changes. I had I had a cold. Um, I had a bad leg. I had a nerve play me up. Um, I was a bit up and down. All kinds of things. Um, but what I did do was I completely embraced the fact that I could do Reiki, and I was um, doing Reiki on anybody and everybody. I, I did loads. Um, uh, lots of friends and family have helped me out, and. Um, so I went and, and got my Reiki 2 attunement, which I've just had done, just had done this Saturday, just gone. So I'm expecting to go through lots of changes and stuff again. Um, oh, I thought it was being called. Um, yeah, so... Um, already started I believe I've got another pain in my leg that's come up uh, my stomach's sort of been playing up a little uh, um, but on on that sounds very negative um, being attuned for Reiki um, I, I think everybody and anybody should do it to be honest it's incredible unbelievable um, gives you a sense of being a sense of purpose I love helping people. I've got so many healing stories so far already uh, that I want to share with people. Uh, but first and foremost, I think it, after the attunements, it's about yourself. It's about taking care of yourself. And in particular, the, the Reiki 1 attunement was more so about working on myself um, as opposed to others. But the, the lady that attuned me, um, my Reiki master teacher, as it were, did say to me, look, just get your hands on people and, and work as, as much as you can. Um, the more you work and play with the energy, the stronger it sort of flows, which it did. It did towards the end. In the last week before I did the Reiki 2, I could feel it really flowing. Um, and that's the bizarre thing. You you can feel the energy. You actually feel the energy. I can feel it um, sort of tingling down my head, going across my chest, um, obviously down um, into my hands. And in certain areas, that I'm, I've got to have my hands on people who can feel the heat. Um, that's the only way I can describe it as heat. But I understand it's just the energy. The body doesn't really know how to process it, so it kind of says it's hot. But um, And everybody that I've treated so far feel it as heat, uh, mostly. I've had a couple of experiences of people feeling a rush of energy, a rush of coldness, uh, tingling, seeing colours, dizziness. Um, yeah, lots of things. Uh, but for me, it's certainly a start of a new journey. Um the Reiki 2. I've got my Reiki Master Teacher course booked in for next March, I think it is. I think it's March. Uh, so I can't wait for that, but I'm still learning all the time. There's lots to learn. In fact, um, there's some other things I want to do now that I'm looking at at the same time. But it's one of them, Seek, is it a Seekum, I think I believe it's called, um, uh, Shamanic Healing. Um, both of them really interest me, amongst other things. Um, but they're all all around the sort of thing that I'm looking at doing that I really want to do um, and I'm so excited uh, what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna share some of the stories uh, some of my healing stories on here Ooh, bear with me I'm gonna share some of the stories I have so far because they really are incredible um, and I think anybody looking to do this themselves uh, if any of you out there are looking at doing Reiki yourself highly recommend it do it all over again I'm more than happy that I've started this journey um, and I'm at the very beginning for myself um, more so. The great thing is the other the, the way in which I look at life and uh, the way I look at the world and I understand it all to be energy, um, vibrations and experience, it helps me further. Um, I definitely have life coaching skills that I'm going to tie in with it. We, uh, my wife also, she's a psychic medium. Um, um, and and between us, we, we help, there's people around us we know, and we do help them. As families, you know, we, we help them um, with things that we do between us. Um, my wife, she is actually 10 years younger than me, but she's way ahead in the way she understands the world. Um, in particular, I think she's 
she's had a journey herself and I think um, uh, she's very wise, very wise for her age. I think the words that come out of her mouth are from somewhere else, like heavenly, somewhere else above. Um, she's full of wisdom, which is great. It's great. So, um, yeah, the, the Reiki for me, it's more about understanding the energy around us even further now. Um, and I think it just helps, helps all around. Anyway, I think that's it for now. I just wanted to get another video up. But, um, I hadn't felt the need to for a while, um, as I was at the time when I was putting a load up. Um, I'm not going to make any promises, but I am certainly going to aim to start putting up a few stories. I, I believe the healing stories are good for people to understand. The more I develop my skills and what I do, although I'm a channel and I understand I channel it, so I put the ego to one side and get out of the way and, and learn to channel it, but I, there's lots for me to learn as a person that is channeling, um, lots for me to understand to help others further. And some of the amazing healing stories I've heard so far and a few of the ones that I've actually experienced myself so far is really incredible. Um, it's actually mind-blowing. The first few times that you help people and, and something happens that they, they, that they look surprised about, it kind of gets you. Um, so it's brilliant. Anyway, that's my Reiki 2 experience so far. Um, absolutely love it. I'm, I'm going to be able to be a practitioner now, so I'm going to um, also sell my services. Um, I'm going to look at doing distance healing and, and stuff as well. So I'm going to completely embrace the whole thing, um, yeah, and expand my toolbox, as it were, with shamanic healing, crystal healing, um, sikum. Uh, that's the Egyptian. I think that's kind of like, it's like, uh, almost like an add-on to Reiki, I understand. It's it's um, an add-on. Um, it helps Reiki. Reiki's like the earth. Uh, Seacom is, is air, fire and water, I believe. Um, but it completes it. And it's a, it, from Egypt. It's an Egyptian thing. Um, but it's it's a higher level, like a higher vibrational state, I think, to, to Reiki. Um, so it's an add-on. And you can certainly use it during Reiki sessions, depending on what you're trying to achieve with the session and uh, for the person. Um, Anyway, I think that's it for now, really. Just wanted to put up my, my uh, Reiki 2 achieve, um, attunement experience. Um, over the next few days, I'm sure I'll have my ups and downs with it, as expected. The same as like the last one. Um, and I do believe having the Reiki 1 attunement was partially why I stopped the videos. Um, I had to process lots. And I just didn't have that call there to do it. I didn't have, feel that need to do it. Um, but yeah, no... Certainly, get back to myself now a bit more, um, but it's for the, it's for the good. It's it's for the higher good, should I say? So it's not a problem. It's for the higher good. I know that, um, and I'm more excited now. So um, yeah, I can see how I get on. Get some stories up for you guys. Share some healing stories, um, and uh, yeah, hopefully get some more videos up soon. I think that's it. Anyway, have a great day. Thanks.